My name's Michael Ballston and this is Reed Farm. On it works my mother Amanda, father Ian, sister Mel, and even sometimes my niece Lola and my other sister Stacy. Join me as we look at the women of Reed Farm during lambing season. From scanning, to docking, to lambing, to the releasing of the sheep, and even the looking after of the tame lambs. I'm Michael Ballston and this is the women of Reed Farm. January saw all the sheep that were going to lamb on Reed Farm brought in and given an ultrasound so that the Ballston family knew just how many lambs each ewe was going to have. I got Mel's opinion on just how successful scanning this year had been. This year they've done quite well, they've upped, we're up on last year which is great. The textiles have done really really well, the meals have done really well, we've got a few Suffolks that haven't done quite so well because they lambed as ewe lambs last year and they've had a harsh summer and they haven't had time to recover so yeah, all in all, it's looking like it's going to be a good march, hopefully, so. On a hot February day, Mel was hard at work down the farm, as she was undertaking the docking process all by herself. So we've brung the sheep in, and we're giving them their annual booster vaccination for the lambs to be protected. Um, giving them a mineral drench just to get their minerals all up to date. And then I'm docking them off so that we can see when the ewe is lambing. March had finally come, and all hands were on deck. The ewes and lambs needed to be constantly cared for. It was during one of Mel's many night shifts that I recorded one of my favourite interviews with her. So, would you say, have you ever, like, did you ever aspire to have another job apart from this, or is this sort of like what you always wanted to do? I suppose that's what I've always done, but I did quite like the thought of being a vet, and then I did work experience, and I realised I didn't want to be a vet. I quite liked cooking, so I quite liked the fact of being a food tech teacher, but that kind of, yeah, I don't, I just suppose because this was here, and I was the only one that was interested, it was just easy, and I liked it, so I didn't have to, I don't have to answer to anybody, I just do my own thing. Being a mum, I get to like have days off of Lola when I wouldn't be able to if I had a nine to five job, and it's only certain times of the year, like harvest, and lambing, and calving where the late nights are really late nights, if you know what I mean. Like, I do have a life otherwise, so, no. I, I suppose you always aspire to be other things, but I'm quite happy, quite happy. So I've never really had an interest in farming. It's not a career that I've wanted to do necessarily. So it's sort of a good thing that Mel has taken it up just because that way it stays in the family, which is, Something I believe is very important to my dad. It's very important that one of us did take it over and I'm glad that it's Mel because she definitely is the most qualified and she's just such a good person for the job. In April, my sister Stacy traveled from Colchester to Devon to help out the Ballston family during lambing season. I got her take on why she chooses to help out. I think as a child I probably wasn't as interested in the farm um, but as I've got older uh, I think it's made me really appreciate how hard mum, dad, Mel work on the farm so it's my way of just helping out a little bit at a time that's even crazier than normal. The busy period on Reed Farm is over. The sheds that were once full of sheep are now empty. They have been loaded up and put into the surrounding fields. The tame lambs that remain on the farm are being looked after by mum, and even sometimes Lola gives a helping hand. 2019 saw a fairly successful lambing season for the Bullsden family, and it also showed me the high level of work that the women in my family put in to ensure that the farm runs smoothly and the animals are well looked after. I especially admire Mel's commitment this year and she took the time to spend time with Lola and teach her the basics of farming. I got Mel's opinion on why women make such good farmers. I think us women are pretty good at caring for the animals. I think our care and attention to detail makes us what is what makes us good farmers and yeah, up the women really. With lambing season in 2020 not that far away, the women of Reed Farm must prepare themselves for an increased workload and another year of hard work. <laughs>